Do you know what oat milk does to blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Today I'm having 300 ml of unsweetened oat milk from So Good. This glass has 170 calories. Let's see what happens. This does taste better than soy milk, but I still prefer regular milk. And within milks also, buffalo milk tasted the best, smoothest and creamiest. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 36 mg increase. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. This is officially the highest glucose spike in the entire series so far. And frankly, I don't think anything will beat this. Forget full cream milk and buffalo milk, which did not increase my blood sugar levels at all. When I had regular toned milk, my blood sugar levels had increased by 7 mg. This is 36. No comparison. I had a feeling that the spike will be higher than toned milk because oat milk has lesser protein compared to toned milk. And it had higher carbs also, but only 33%. Nothing to explain this massive difference. Plus this oat milk was unsweetened, so I'm really not sure what happened here. Okay, I see what happened. Oats inherently have complex carbs that digest slowly. But in order to make oat milk, processing takes place which converts these complex carbs into simple sugars like glucose. And glucose as you know has a glycemic index of 100, which means it gets absorbed immediately by the body. Actually, if you think about it, this is why even lactose-free milk had given a higher glucose spike as compared to toned milk at 22 mg because the sugars in it got converted from lactose into glucose. Imagine, this is what happened when I had unsweetened oat milk. I wonder what would have happened if I added sugar to it. 